Hey there everyone, this is Elkow playing Wondersong, and uh, last time we beat the game, when I reloaded the game, it put me right back here. Which is probably a good thing, because there's something I missed out here. Uh, basically, when you go over yonder to the left, past the house, there's something very important that I miss. Going here is actually meaningful, it turns out. I'm supposed to be getting a code. Yeah! Moon, hurricane, wind, heart, sun, heart, sun, star. Probably want to note this is a code that I'm going to need. I'm going to note this down on a piece of paper, like some kind of fool. Now, from what I heard, this code here, every different installation gets a different code, which I think is kind of nuts. But, there you are. I uh, just kind of... this is a... okay, I'll, I'll know what I mean. Heart... Sun... Uh, heart... Sun... And star. So if we look at our different place zones... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. So, okay, so, yeah, I was given sort of a, a, a key, because this is basically how you open secret paths in a game, so yeah. So moon, that would be void, the black hole, then wind, then heart, then sun, then heart, then sun, then star. Right, yeah, so, uh, if we render that into, like, this is not gonna do anything. But this basically means moon... Whoa, what's void? Black hole purple, so it'd be like... But you got like two... De Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Like, is that purple? Uh, it is kind of misogynist. So it'd be like... Man, like... Blue... You... Then wind, which is yellow... Then... Heart, which would be pink. So, here, here. Yeah, it's kind of. Well, you know what? Obviously, it, wow, okay. I might. Mm, this is. This is weird. Well, okay. Well, the important part is I got this note that I'm just kind of flustered and blubbing around. What we've unlocked last time is this scene select. Look at that. We can go anywhere we want here. We got scene 55. Uh, Scene 54 and the Wonder Song. Oh, look at that. We got a grid down there. Not only do we got a grid down there, this one's got a funky little shape. So, this is to tell you, yo, buddy, you missed out on something. You missed out on. 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 on map. So, wait, so. How do I get there? I wanna go there. Yeah, please! I was super afraid that for some reason the game would crash or something because you know when I go on the screen with uh, the X story on uh, famously there's a weird like three shape in the bottom of the screen I don't know what that means it looks weird like right here well anyways um, yeah like if I go in the uh, in the in the in the settings like it just crashes but I'm glad at scene select is a-okay all right yeah before we go into any sort of bonus let's go let's go pick up the mask on this so I never went to the left here well maybe that's a bad left maybe it's too low left uh, yeah, like, here I kind of went straight forward, pretty much. Like, there's obviously, like, a bunch of stuff up here. Which, yeah, no, yeah. I can, I can understand, like, like, up here, there's this flip here. I don't think I've ever been to. Like, I went pretty much, like, straight forward uh, to the right. I'm pretty sure I've never been here, where there's this big old tree. And the fishery, gonna eat all the fish I can find on top of this cliff. Uh, yeah, there you are. Figured you'd be here. I went back through time and space to meet you. 
I somehow missed you. Alright, the final dance that canonically I did not get. Uh, one last time. Let's get all the way to the bottom of one final close up. We did it! Uh, Alright, what's it gonna be? Ah! No, yeah, you're not kidding. We are digging deep in the bottom. <laughs> I mean, this exaggerated stepping is pretty fun, though. <laughs> Alright. Never stop digging. Well, this is silly. Oh, and it's a fast walking dance, too. Yeah, that's what I call an ultimate prize. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun, but we gotta get back to the start of the game. Like, the prologue? Well, we don't want a prologue. Yeah, the bar, the haunting in Lang Tree. I think that's where we want to be. Because we're here, we wake up, look at that sweet drawing there, you know? Quite an artist. Our clothings appear on us, like bread on ketchup. Here's the sun, here's the start of the game, however. I can do this, so you know that I have been touched by my travels. Right, so we gotta go to the exact same place, basically, using the same principle. Hey, Mask. Were you there last time? It's been a little bit. Like, it's been like a little bit over a month. I forgot that he was there. So he can just kind of replay the game. Well, that's kind of neat, because like, you can just kind of... Alright. Give me a song. Green. Oh, man. You have complicated taste there, bird. I don't know if I can do it. It's like, what's that? Is that cyan? I don't know, man. Making up colors here as we go. But yeah. Look at that. It's that cat! Yeah, I gotta give him the password. Alright. Alright. So is this moon? Then, uh, then we got like, and I heard that like it's kind of complicated. Like you need to like, so it's be like uh, uh. Then wind. What what was wind again? What is wind? I can't tell. Oh, it's a uh, green. Okay, so uh, uh, uh. Then heart. Heart is pink. So, uh, 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 sun is orange and yellow, so, uh, 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 eh, 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 eh. I might have done it wrong, or maybe it's opposite. Oh, do I need to be in front of you? It doesn't really say. No, I did that wrong. There we go. Not that complicated. I, it's just, you just, you know, you, it's, it's kind of like in learning a combo in a fighting game. You just commit it to memory, you give it a few tries, and you'll get it. <laughs> well. What now? That's what I earn? A slow zoom out? <laughs> Oh jeez, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, what's happening, cat? That grass is just an illusion! It's not grass at all! Here I go! <laughs> the great fade. Oh, so we were all inside the bard all this time. Oh, this is weird. There we go. Alright, well, I don't know where I am. If I look at the scene, I'm still count as... Nah, but... I'm still, like, there. Well, okay, there's humans there. That's pretty scary. Let's go... Oh, and there's nothing here, so that... Almost feels like you're going faster, but I think it's because you're steppity-steppy. Hey! 
I sure am. Hi. Oh, is this the devs? Oh, it totally is. Oh, man. All right. Which one did you run? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, no, it is. Since I agreed to work on it, I was like, what have I done? <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. It has a lot of music. I mean, it's a game about music. There's gonna be a lot of music. <laughs> We're all here. Oh, wow, yeah, 2017. Yeah, this is a pretty recent game. What? What a statement. Man, you're right. Um... The timing was pretty fortuitous. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Not the veneer of happiness, but actual happiness. Oh, well, that's cool. How many... how many songs do you say here? Well, okay, well, four hours and a half's worth of song. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah? Mm hmm. Yeah, I noticed in the credits. So it's a cyber dystopian choir. <laughs> And that was such a cool moment of the game, too, right at the end. Like, it's pretty rad, because this game, like, so, you know, like, a lot of games, like, start off strong, but, you know, they keep good, but, like, ideas and execution kind of start to peter out near the end. Not, I didn't have the sense of that at all in this game, other than looping through the, um, the minigames twice, which is weird. But, like, otherwise, like, it felt very strong, even deep in. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, whoa, hey, that's my birthday. If, if you landed on target, we're the same person. Only several years apart. Mm hmm Yep. All right. Uh, of course I'm gonna exhaust you. All right, I gotta, I'm gonna, I, I, need, I need to match you. Like, it's just fair. There we go. Mirror! I figured you would be M. Is it short for Emily? I... It makes me uncomfortable that you're barefoot, because I'm not sure what this substance was standing on, but the sound of footsteps sounds metallic, and you don't want to be barefoot on metal. That must have been a lot of work. It's the kind of thing we don't think about. How, uh, I wonder how well this game did. Like, I know that the reviews on Steam are, like, overwhelmingly positive. So people who bought this game just love this game. They were absolutely touched. I bought this game and was absolutely touched. But I wonder, like, like, you know, in, like, how much it reached. It's always hard to tell, I feel like, with indie games. You sit in the moat. 2016, man. Well, that, rude to the other games we worked on, but I get it. Nah, I know it doesn't mean anything by that. How the sound chases, huh? I mean, each act was pretty different, period. 
Oh boy. That's a lot of sounds. Yeah. It's more than five. Wow, most of the sounds were recorded. Well, that's pretty useful. Oh, okay, you mean other than being, like, digitally made, right? <laughs> yeah, and you know it works because it's, like, almost unperceiv unperceivable. Like, it's just part of the world. You don't think, hey, this is, like, adapted from back out of the village. But, you know, like, like they don't do that. It doesn't stick out, and that's... That's good. Well, there's a third person whose name uh, inhabits the title screen every time I've started the game. What's on your shirt? I can't tell. What is the figure there? I really can't tell. I had a little bit of help. But I didn't look it up. I just basically was told, hey, there's a thing. Hey, 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 hey. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, hey, you're welcome, man. This was a fantastic game. I don't know if you're gonna end up watching this silly LP of mine that I did. Um, but yeah, no. It means a lot to me that this means a lot to you. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows, it shows that a lot of love, that a lot of yourself has been put inside this little interactive canvas. I genuinely did. I, I made, I made a, uh, because of this series, an extra handful of people did go ahead and buy it for what it's worth. Oh man, well, boy howdy, must you be happy with the reception. Oh man. What a surprise, Greg sounds exactly like this game in some way. What a shock. This is true. This is true for everyone out there watching this video. You are special in some way, and you do deserve love. Oh. Alright, well. Time to press the button as we read about that. Whoa, live on your bite. Hmm. So, it's worth saying that singing really, like this, controlling this, really does genuinely feels really satisfying. Uh, it does not surprise me that it's the first thing you did. In fact, now that I think about it, I'd be shocked if it wasn't the case. So really, most of the game is, yeah, is like experimenting with a, with a wheel. It's kind of interesting how Aquaria had a similar system of pointing in a direction for notes and it being color-coded and things. Hmm. Right, right, right. I heard about that. The original game was the big act. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, like, if it's gonna be about music, you, you, I'm like, I'm honestly surprised that one guy did most of the music. Whoops, wrong button. I didn't realize this was a kick, I guess that makes sense. Wow. Really? I'm surprised then you didn't take a collective approach and like have like each, for example, each act have its own musician or something. But I mean, whatever. At the same time, you might want something that's unified. 
It's complicated, I guess. Parkitect. I don't think I know that. Oh, well. Yeah. That'd be good. Really? Hmm. That tracks, yeah, two years. It's like two years for a game that's like four hours, three hours, maybe a bit more. No, a bit more. But like, like the amount of work it takes to make a game is just like ludicrous. Cause like you got you got the design, you got images, you got the programming, you got sound. Like there's, it combines every aspect of creation a video game. It's like one of creatively, it is one of the most complicated thing you can decide to make. What if you were making a movie, except the directions you could give were limited? You know. Did you, uh, oh, well, I'm probably not going to. Hey, thanks for making, dude. Did he, uh, did he do anything since, aw, oh, turns out he was Terra all this time. Well, that explains everything. There you go, want to give Greg a pat. And this is it. One Song was a fantastic game that I'm so glad I played. Thank you, Nyx, for uh, putting this on my table uh, back at Patreon HQ. And, uh, man, no, yeah, thanks for me. This was great. I was told this game was really rao cow. And, uh, I see it. And join me next time for another game that is... Extremely Rao Cow. The parade won't stop. <laughs>